This is part two of Forever After, a Disney princess story. Today's story is all about Belle in this second Forever After story, Beauty and the Beast, a special gift. Belle's wedding was just days away. I'm so happy, Belle told Mrs. Potts. I never dreamed my life would become such a grand adventure. Then she frowned and said, The prince spent so many lonely years in this castle. For our wedding, I want to show him how well loved he is. What a wonderful idea, my dear, said Mrs. Potts. After she had finished trying on her dress, Belle smiled at her friends. It will mean so much to the prince to have you all there, she said. I know you want to help with the preparations, but you must also help by being our guest. Mrs. Potts and the other servants worked hard to prepare for the big day. They wanted the couple to feel love in every detail. Meanwhile, the prince was preparing for the wedding too. I am the happiest man in the world, he told Lumiere and Clocksworth, and I want Belle to be the happiest woman. Later that day, the prince had an idea. I'm going to look for a special present for Belle. The prince visited every shop in the village. After a careful search, he found the perfect gift for Belle. Then he went to the flower shop to order roses. They're Belle's favorite, he explained. The wedding day finally arrived. The prince could not take his eyes off Belle when she appeared on the grand staircase. At the ceremony, Belle read from her favorite book of exciting adventures. But they don't compare to what I feel every day with you, she told the prince. The prince gave Belle his gift. A blank journal. You can fill it with all the adventures we will have together, he said. After the ceremony, Belle and the prince walked into the ballroom. The staff had created a spectacular feast. Thank you, said Belle, but there is so much. I'm not sure even our whole household could eat all this food, she winked at the servants. Clogsworth and the other servants just smiled as the couple went outside, where all the entire village was waiting to surprise them. The prince turned to Belle. Did you invite all these people? Yes, Belle said. I wanted to show you how much you are loved. It's a magnificent gift, the prince exclaimed. Thank you for coming, the prince repeated over and over. He couldn't stop smiling. When the couple shared their first dance, a shout went up from the crowd, Congratulations! With so many friends gathered around them, Belle and the prince knew that the next chapter of their story would be an even greater adventure. The end. And that was the end of part two of this story, so stick around for part number three.